In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to show you how easy it is to create a slideshow along with music. What I'm going to do first is I need to go to my media room and pull in my slides. And I've copied a group of slides from a mission trip. So I'm going to click on any one of the slides, hold my control key down, hit the A key to select all of them, and drag them into my timeline. Now I have them here and it's an opportunity for me to notice that each of them has a duration of five seconds. Where did that come from? Well, let me show you how to change that if you ever want to. You can click on the gear at the top and click on editing. And then the duration of the image file is set to 5.0 seconds. And if you want to change that before pulling any in, you can adjust it. I'll cancel that. But that's where that came from. Now, in order to turn these into a slideshow, all I need to do is click on Slideshow. Then it gives me a group of options in terms of a template I can use with the slides. We'll just pick this one for now. And then I can click on the plus with uh, the note symbol and select the background music. I'll pick this song here. And then I can click on Slideshow Preferences. I can fit the photos to the music, or the music to the photos. The sequence can be timeline order, and that's the way they were brought in here when I drag them in. Or I can have it go back and look at the date stamp on each image. We'll leave it to timeline order, but I'll change it to fit photos to music and then I'll click on OK. So the presentation will be no longer than the music I have here. And um, for music preferences, I can have it, I can trim it, I can cause it to fade in and fade out. This happens to be four minutes and three seconds. I will cancel that. I don't need to make any changes at this point. Then I click on the Next button. And it does not take too long to take that entire presentation and turn it into a slideshow set to the music. Let me show you how, how good a job that CyberLink does on this. I'm going to click on the play button on this screen and you can watch and see here and, and see how it does. You notice it uh, does a very good job of beat detection. Uh, so let's assume we've listened to it, previewed it, or are happy with it. We'll click on the next button. And then I have three options. It says how many photos were there, how many did it use, how many did it not use. And this pulled in all of my 54 photos. I can uh, go to advanced editing. I can create a disc or I can produce a video. In this case, uh, I'll click on the Advanced Editing button. It says your slideshow will replace the clips in the timeline. And I'll say that's fine by me. OK, so now I have the, the video track and the audio track. I can take this and do anything else I want to. I can put uh, uh, text in it. I can overlay it and, and put credits on it make any kind of changes I want, like any other video, in PowerDirector. And if I want to preview it, again, I get this flow and the timing. And uh, I'm very impressed with this dimension of the product. It is a very easy way to take what used to be a complicated task and make it very, very simple.